Welcome back to my channel, Sidek. In this video, I'm going to do the CPU totaling test comparison between all of these three Snapdragon processors which I got right now. So, starting with the first processor, which is a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset from the ROG Phone 6 device, as you can see. So, this is the ROG Phone 6 which I do have right now at this moment. And let's compare the CPU totaling graph against the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. So, 8 Plus Gen 1 and 8 Gen 1 processor are from the IQ Neo 6 device. So, this is a Chinese unit of the iQOO Neo 6 with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor and third phone is the iQOO 9 with the Snapdragon 888 Plus chipset from the iQOO 9 device. So Snapdragon 888 Plus, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset. So we're going to compare the CPU totaling results and the temperatures side by side. Let's see friends which phone will be having what kind of high temperatures while doing the CPU throttling uh, test, extreme throttling test. So where I'll try to use the uh, 100 threads for uh, 15 minutes of time non-stop. I'll try to do this kind of testing between all of these three smartphones. Using the same settings, we're going to find out which will be having what kind of high temperatures. So I'll try to use this real-time floating uh, temperature uh, meter. By using that, we can actually track the temperatures of all the three smartphones side by side. Let's go back and I am trying to select 100 threads and 15 minutes. Let's start the test. Let's find out which will be having what kind of results and the temperatures as well. Again, I'll be back after 5 minutes. As you can see friends, after 7 minutes of time exactly, uh, this is the situation regarding the graphs. So Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 ch chipset from the ROG Phone 6, you can see the CPU totaling graph. So without using any kind of X mode, this is the situation using with the 100 threads and is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor and Snapdragon 888 Plus processor. You can see the difference, right? So, completely red and slightly kind of uh, hello and uh, slightly green as well. And the performance numbers 321, 3 lakhs, it's maintaining 291 and 291 performance numbers. And again, I'll be back after uh, 15 minutes of time. And meanwhile, the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius, 38 degrees Celsius, and 34 degrees Celsius. 34. And the performance number seems to be kind of really very high but still 34 degrees Celsius. This is without using any X mode. Maybe if you use X mode, the results might be slightly different, but without any X mode, this is a situation between all of these three processors. So highest temperatures are in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 38 degrees, 37 degrees, and 34 degrees for the ROG Phone 6. So final fence, the CPU totaling test has been successfully finished and you can see the temperatures, how much it is. So 40 degrees Celsius, 38 degrees Celsius and 33 degrees Celsius. And if you try to look at the overall CPU totaling percentage, 64 percentage CPU total, 78 percentage CPU total and the 81 percentage in the CPU total. In the Snapdragon 888 Plus processor, Snapdragon 8, uh, 8 Gen 1 processor and Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. And you can see the highest scores as well, which has got what kind of high scores. Definitely the 8 plus Gen 1 has got very good high scores, 4,52, oh my god. And next is 384, and next 353. You can see the difference, right, of its happening regarding the maximum scores of the performance and the average of its maintaining and the minimum scores as well. So this might give the clear idea and picture as well what's going on. And please make sure to pass this video and try to pass and try to see the results for yourself. Minimum, average and the highest, what's happening here. So meanwhile signing off friends, thank you for watching until instead of more updates, in case if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Until then signing off and bye.